Hi, in this tutorial we'll be installing Adobe Flash Media Server and its authentication add-in. Now what this add-in does is ask the user trying to connect to the RTMP for a login and a password ra rather than allowing any user to connect to the RTMP. Alright, so here's the game plan. I'll first download Adobe Media Server, then I'll install it and afterwards I'll download and install the authentication add-in. Okay, so after it's done downloading, open it up and go to the Windows folder. There are two files in there, Adobe Media Gateway and Adobe Media Server. Drag out or, drag out or uh, extract Adobe Media Server. save somewhere uh, save uh, somewhere where this is going to be installed because uh, we're going to need to know the directory when we are installing uh, the authentication add-in this save it somewhere You probably should save this too somewhere. Okay, so now we're going to download um, and hopefully install Adobe Media Server Server's authentication add-in. So search on Google Adobe Med Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder and click on the first link or this link. Anyways, um, I just copied this link from here. Click on the download. Which agree if you want. So on top is the Media Live Encoder, and on the bottom is the Adobe Media Server's authentication add-in. Okay, so select one, one preferably the the most compatible with your system. I'll just uh, try out the RTMP, you know, make sure it's working. There you have it. I just connected. Didn't get asked for a user nor a pass. Kinda just hacked myself. Okay, so when it's done downloading, open it up. The obvious. I'm kidding. Next, 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 next. Okay, so now we're going to uh, go to the directory of Adobe Media Server. There it is. Okay, inside inside it there is a folder called spelled C O N F. Uh, just copy the address. Go inside it and then copy the address. And um, open command prompt. Before I do anything else, uh, I'll just test the add-in. So 
Super. Okay, ähm. Super. Let's give it an account. I mean, let's add an account. So type in CD, right click, paste, and then type in users. You are, go you are going to be given a bunch of commands, three to be exact. Um, the command that adds users is uh, users add space dash lower case u space user space dash p space password so the u stands for the username and the p stands for the password and um, then press enter and there you have it fingers crossed Kidding. Kind of. It works. All right. That's it.